Welcome back. Well, researchers say one in three Americans are at the risk of developing a chronic disease that's probably not even on their radar, chronic kidney disease. And I spoke to a doctor and an advocate to learn more. Yeah, um, almost 30 million people in the United States are estimated to have chronic kidney disease or CKD, but it's a silent disease. There are no symptoms early in the course of the disease, so people may be unaware that they have it. So it's really important to know if you're at risk for CKD, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, or family history of kidney disease, then you're at risk for CKD. So it's important to get screened um, because there are good early treatments to protect the kidneys. And late in the course of the disease, there are treatments to replace the kidney function like kidney transplant or dialysis. So Sam, you have um, a personal uh, story to share. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, I was a 19 year old college soccer player and everything was going well until I started to feel nauseous. I started throwing up four or five times a day. Uh, I, I had extreme fatigue where I was falling asleep in class, falling asleep the wheel, um, and I was forced to go to the doctor and he confirmed that I indeed had kidney failure and uh, my choice was to go on kidney dialysis. And not only that, but my soccer career to my doctor was over. Um, I started kidney dialysis right away and uh, after a little while was approached by a home therapies nurse and she offered me the opportunity to become a home dialysis patient. I accepted and became a home patient, took control of my disease, became empowered and not only did I have the opportunity to go back to college soccer, but I became a transplant recipient to which my wife was my donor. Wow, that is an incredible story. And doctor, can you tell us a little bit about how was kidney disease detected? Yeah, so that's why Sam and I are here today from Fresenius Kidney Care to help raise awareness because Sam talks about symptoms like nausea and fatigue and leg swelling, but those occur very late in the course of the disease. So if you're at risk for CKD, it's important to get screened and screening is very simple. It includes a simple blood test and a urine test. So before you have symptoms, if possible, it's good to find out if you have CKD so that you can help take care of your kidneys early on and be prepared to do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Thank you so much, doctor. And where can viewers get more information? So there are great resources online. PresentiusKidneyCare.com has a lot of information about risk factors for CKD, um, screening for CKD, and good information about treatment options, including kidney transplant and home dialysis options. Well, thank you so much, Sam and Dr. Uh, Maddox. We will be sharing this information on our website at firstcoastliving.net.